Well, welcome to my little corner where there is no wrong way to play with paper. And today we are going to make embellishments for the Love RTS swap. So um, every week I do a organize a mini swap in the Facebook group Love RTS, which is a group that follows Janet Madison. She is the creator of RTS Scrapbooking. All of these links I will put below. If you have never followed or watch Janet on YouTube and or Patreon, you should totally look on the description and click that link. It will inspire you and get you excited to play with paper, scrapbook, and make your own embellishments, and I could go on and on. So, let's just get started. Um, this week in the mini swap, the theme is Wild West. So, with that in mind, these are, I made two embellishments this week because I was on several teams, pretty excited about that. So, I did a little owl with a cowboy hat and it says, you are the best. And then I did a little boot that says, you are the best as well. I used, I actually did pull out paper to make these. Um, these were scraps and this is a sticker that I got from Hobby Lobby. Okay, so to do that, I used my Close to My Heart set. I've used this a lot recently, but it's been fun to play with. And so I used the little owl. And then I used this um, Close to My Heart set. Let's see, it is called Folk Art Greetings. And I stamped the boot and colored it. So if you look closely, I stamped it on some brown cardstock and then I colored the pieces that did not, that were, how should I put this? They, they were inset, right? Like when you buy a pair of boots and it has decorations. And then I just used gingham because gingham to me has a cowboy feel. And we will put these together real quick. I did already color them. Um, when I stamped this one before I used the die cut, I um, colored the wings in just accident and colored the little beak. And then, like I said, this was a cowboy sticker. Now you need to remember that the RTS mini swaps, they're minimal. You do not have to spend a ton of time, just create something really quick and you only have to make four of them because they're inspired by the four by four mini series with Miss Janet. Okay, so all I did was stamp the sentiment on here. That was in on this one, this stamp right here. So if you are the best, it says your, not you are. And I just put some glue on here. Now I stamped this, colored it, fussy cut it out. You don't have to have big old fancy tools to be a part of this. These are a group of beautiful, wonderful, caring women who just enjoy scrapbooking and we all share ideas and there is no wrong way, no wrong way to participate in this swap. It is a very loose theme. You do not have to go out and buy a bunch of fancy gizmos or tools to participate and see, and just like that. And then on this one, same thing. I'm just gonna glue it on. Okay. On this mini swap, there's no um, limitations. You could use stickers, you could use stamps, you could use whatever you like. And then I'm just going to take the cowboy hat and put it right on the cute little owl. Now, this is still sticky here, right? So um, each one that had the cowboy hat, I simply cut off a piece of this from the packaging. Might not have cut that quite long enough. I have to cut another piece. I am going to have to cut another piece. Let's just redo. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, I'll cut a longer piece of the packaging. And I'm going to put that on there so that whoever gets this can use it. Just peel that off and use it. We also put your name on the back. Let me grab my, my little stamp. Now, you can write it with ink. Again, no wrong way. You'll notice this is paper that I, oh, did you guys see that? I don't know if it was on camera. It landed like this. Oh my goodness. Thank goodness it wasn't on an embellishment. And I just stamped my name on there. You could write it with ink if you wanted to. And each one, I would do that. And just like that, I 
I'm done. Now, now I'm going to show you how to mail these off as soon as I get the lid on my cap. If you decided you wanted to be part of our embellishment swap, 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 <laughs> swap, you know, there will never be a day, y'all, when I just talk without fumbling on my own self. It will always happen. And just, just expect it because <laughs> I do, my husband does. <laughs> Okay. All right. So each week I will post an example. Um, if you want to join us, that's what I was saying. If you want to join us, by all means, click on the link that's in the description. Join the Facebook group and join us. We have a lot of fun. Every week we have a different theme. Um, you, I post the sign up on Sunday, Sunday and Monday. Everyone comments to sign up. I send you the information and you make four embellishments and you mail them on Friday. So let's go over how to mail them. So the only real rule, other than loosely following the theme, is that you mail your envelopes, um, mail your embellishments off on Friday. So um, let me stamp these two, because I do use these and mail them off to my captain. I will send you the information. Gosh, I, I fumbled myself up and I forgot what I said. So you sign up, I'll send you the mailing information, and then we're gonna go over how you mail them. So once I send you your captain's information, then you are going to um, get a, whoo, I drop stuff. It's gonna be one of those videos. Um, you are going to know where to mail your items to. So you're gonna get a number 10 envelope. You're gonna put your captain's name on it. Put your team name here in the corner and um, one or two stamps, that's up to you, to mail to them. Inside of that envelope, you're going to put your embellishments. Now, to make the one or two stamps be enough postage, I encourage you to take a piece of cardstock, anything. Now, you could use a piece of notebook paper if you'd like to. Cardstock's what I use. And flip over your embellishments. Flip them over. Do not leave them like this and washi tape, because washi tape, while it's supposed to be reusable, will sometimes tear the paper and it'll ruin your embellishment. So, make sure that you flip them over just like that. You're gonna put that inside the envelope with your name on them, so you get credit for it, right? You took the time, put the love into it. You're gonna also include inside of this envelope a self-addressed stamped envelope. You're gonna put it to yourself and from yourself that way, no matter what happens in the mail, you will get it, okay? And two stamps. Now, I could probably just use one stamp on this to mail this to my captain, but you do not know what the other participants in your group are going to make, and they may use heavier weighted paper. They may use a little bit of bulk. I do encourage you to keep them very flat. We do. If it gets more than a fourth of an inch, thick when this comes to you that's why you mail it to and from yourself you will have postage due and I, I don't I don't want people to get frustrated because of that so do keep a minimal but you don't know what people are going to mail okay and everyone needs to use this size envelope because if I were to create a title that is this long it will not fit in a card size envelope it needs to be a number 10 regular size business envelope and then you're going to just put it right inside and just like that you're going to tape it shut and you are done done for the week i hope you will come and join us and i will see you next week have a very very blessed day and i would be honored if you liked and subscribed bye